Right, we have the USK7 basic controls. We have the range control, which simply squashes up the script screen display or opens it up again. Squashes it down or opens it up so as to change the distance reading from left to right. This represents distance. We also have the X shift, which simply moves left and right, the display, and amplitude. We also have suppression, which is generally not used in welding inspection, but reduces the response from grass and background uh, smaller echoes. Now, to make sense of the UT screen, We'll look at a zero degree probe here. Zero degree is sending sound waves through the steel, with in this case 20 millimeters thick, and receiving the echo back. The echo goes backwards and forwards, hence multiple echoes. One, two, three, four. The first echo is the initial pulse, which we ignore. Now, to make sense of the UT set, we have to calibrate the distance from left to right. For this, we use a standard calibration block called a V1, which is 25 millimeters thick, giving multiple 25 millimeter echoes. I will set two of these echoes on the screen to give a range of 50 millimeters. Using the range and the X shift, we can position the echoes. So we have our first one in the center of the screen, representing 25 millimeters, and the second one representing a second echo, which has traveled 50 millimeters. The full screen now represents 50 millimeters. Going back to the weld. We can now read the thickness of this parent material here on the screen. Increase the amplitude. If this is 50, therefore that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This echo read from the front edge of the echo is at 20. So this plate is 20 millimeters thick. We could also calibrate on the side of the V2 block, which is 12.5 millimeters thick, reduce the amplitude, and here you can see it's confirmed that's 12.5, 25, and so on up till 50. Increase the amplitude. The zero probe can also be used for measuring wall thickness and for checking for laminations. In the next lesson, I'll go through how we draw our defects, but for now, I will draw a lamination in here and then detect it. Here we have a lamination. We can measure the depth of the lamination on the UT screen. So that's just coming in under 10, so about 9 millimeters deep for the lamination.